Happy Taco Tuesday, poopshoot.com. Um, uh, season's winding down, Leafs were on the road last night for I think their second last road game of the year and uh, to make matters interesting near the end of the year they were in Long Island one last time um, and we all know how the John Tavares uh, storyline has unfolded this year and uh, as he said after the game it's not him making the storyline he just decided to change teams and uh, everybody else seems to be the ones making all the hoopla about it but uh, this game unlike the last time they were there went a lot better and when you look at the two teams there, there's no reason the Leafs shouldn't blow the doors off them every time because they are a much better team. Uh, but for some reason, just like the Senators seem to have the Leafs number this year, the Islanders have seemed to have it as well. So um, this night was a lot different though. Again, they reversed the trend of the bad starts. They, they started on time. They had a great first period. Um, it, it looked as though they were carrying the play and, and were set to do that for the entirety. And, uh, and they pretty much did. They outshot them. They, the hits were close. They were better on face-offs. Um, they, it was Dermot's second game back on D, and he looked really good. Um, and the other surprise was that um, when the two D-men went down, uh, Gardner and, and Dermot with injuries, one of their options was to be to call up Callie Rosen, uh, one of their their kind of prospects with the Marlies. But he got hurt around the same time, so they couldn't do that. But they finally managed to get him in the lineup last night. And lo and behold, a couple minutes into the second period, he uh, it looked like he was just trying to keep it in at the point, and he fired a shot on net, and it hit a stick of a defender at, right near the point, and kind of did this weird knuckly floater thing, and Leonard just missed it with the glove because of the uh, the nature of the shot, and uh, and that was uh, a one nothing lead for the Leafs on his first goal of uh, his NHL career. So that was cool, and uh, and he was paired with Dermot, and they both looked great all night long. So that's uh, you know made a huge difference for them. Um, and then uh, some of the other Leafs that looked good, I thought uh, Matthews, of course, continues to just dominate, uh, even if he's not getting the points last night. Um, but the other guy that looked really good, which was great to see, was Tavares. He was kind of all over it all night. And uh, just uh, early in the third, he uh, he scored a, the 2 nothing goal, which ended up being the winner. Um, and uh, although the Islanders would strike with about five minutes left in the game and then would pull the goalie late in the game to, 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 to try and tie it up, they, they didn't. And the Leafs got away with a 2-1 win in a game where they were the much better team. They, uh, they, they finally reversed that trend against the Islanders of losing badly. And uh, Tavares getting the winner was fantastic to see um, after the, uh, the way the last game went on Long Island. And then, uh, for me personally, it was great to see the fans sullen and sulking and quiet in their seats uh, more and more as the game went on. A um, little bit of uh, karma coming back on them, I guess. Uh, uh, as you all know how I feel about New York sports fans, it was great to see that happen. And uh, I'm surprised they didn't start booing their own team, to be honest. Um, maybe they did, I don't know. I don't care. Um, but uh, great win. Um, Freddie, too. That was another uh, high point was that he looked fantastic so it's kind of all these things coming uh, together right <laughs> as we're getting very close to the playoffs so I was getting a bit nervous but last night's game makes me feel a bit better um, with the goaltending looking good all of a sudden the D getting healthy and looking a lot better and then of course the offense we haven't really had to worry about all that much you know it's going to be there um, as long as they put in the work they're going to score the goals it's just a matter of keeping it out at the other end so um and Tavares's goal was his 46th um so that's pretty crazy and then Marner assisted on it and that's his 67th assist so like their top guys are definitely their top guys and uh if they can get that secondary scoring like they've been getting a bit more of lately um that's another thing that's trending in the right direction before they face Boston in the first round which is is guaranteed now the Leafs uh are officially in the playoffs now and there's no way they can avoid Boston in the first round the way the the way the points are all set up now so um, at least now they know who they're playing which they've kind of known for a while for the most part um, but now they can start uh, these take these last few games as a tune-up and uh, maybe start getting into the mindset of playing the Bruins in these last few games and and, and uh, enacting that kind of game plan on these other teams and uh, we'll see what happens have a happy Tuesday